What's up guys and good morning. We are getting a nice start on things today. The weather has actually changed a little bit. I would say for the past four or five days, it was like in the 60s and the 70s and the majority of the snow at our house is like starting to melt. There's, there's still a lot of snow outside, but basically the walkway from our cars to our house is pretty much dry, which is like a huge milestone to hit because mud season is really difficult and just walking from your car to the house with muddy shoes all the time is kind of a pain in the butt. But this morning we're getting a nice start on things. Lika and Frank are having their breakfast and you guys can uh, see one of the downfalls of our house right now. Leo is actually taking a bath. Allie's giving him a bath. And if you guys know, we don't have a bathtub because who needs a bathtub, right? Well, we had a baby and we definitely need a bathtub. But we just used the shower. Good morning. How you doing? Good. And then we are doing something really exciting today. We're actually gonna be heading down to Mountain Made Vans and I think we're putting the final touches on Pamela Vanderson 2.0. I think she's done. We're gonna find out today. We've got a couple more things that need to be done. But I think we're gonna get it all done today. Uh, Allie and I are gonna get ready here after Leo gets dressed. We're hitting the road. All right, well, I know you guys probably thought that we would get some of the things to decorate the van from like a really nice, fancy, awesome, cool designer place. We're at Target. That's because Target has like a lot of cool, hip stuff. I like so. that you're speaking like you know. I know all this stuff. You know how to decorate. I've, You're the decorator. I've seen some stuff on Instagram and Pinterest. <laughs> and it all comes from Target. <laughs> you can take my money, steal my car, and sell my clothes. You can take the shoes I'm in. Go on, take everything. Favorite section in every store. Throw pillows. They're important. They set the vibe. Just leave that open. Just stop to grab a couple things, you know. Twelve bags of stuff later. Decorating anything just makes me want to redecorate our house. Makes me want to decorate more vans. <laughs> I just really enjoy this process. We've got way too much stuff. Um, but my thought here is, whatever we don't use on this van, we'll use on the next van. Just got off the phone with Kevin and he's been trying to work with some truss manufacturers to help us get the trusses for our garage built so that we don't have to stick frame the garage roof. There's gonna be a bonus room, there's gonna be like a mother-in-law suite above the garage. So you can just buy trusses that are built that already have the bonus room kind of framed into them. Makes it really easy and just the building goes up a lot easier. So we're trying to do that. We're having trouble finding a truss manufacturer that can make our trusses right now. And so I think we've found one. Is that because it's so tall or such a weird I think it's slope? just because they're all booked. They're all like, they all have tons of work and, mm. and we're just kind of like a one-off customer. We kind of get like pushed around sometimes. Mm. So okay. um, I think he's found a truss manufacturer that's gonna build the trusses. We basically just have to uh, give them like a 50% deposit. And then they said it could be 15 weeks before our trusses are done, oh. but it could be five weeks. Oh. So it's like, well, in five weeks, the roads probably won't be ready for you to deliver them. And in 15 weeks, I will have killed myself from waiting for too long. No. So it's like a, we're kind of in a tough spot, but we're gonna start getting our lumber package ordered from BMC and we're gonna try and get the trusses ordered. And hopefully in like the next week, we'll be taking down the shelter logic, moving the trailers, a lot of really fun stuff. And then uh, we can start building the garage. Back to building. Back to building, baby. Oh, hey. How you doing? Pretty good. So one of the very last things we have to do on Pamela 2.0 before it's fully ready to be sold is install the blackout curtain separating the cab, excuse you, from the living space. 
Um, the blackout curtain is really important for stealth camping, for when you want to be hanging out with the lights on in your van and not let other people know that you're in there. It's also really important for insulation to keep the living space nice and warm while you're hanging out or sleeping because uh, the cab is basically all windows and it gets really cold or really hot depending on time of year. We actually have a track with rollers that has hooks that holds the, the blackout curtain and uh, the blackout curtain that we got at Target is not going to work. So we need to go get a different blackout curtain and we actually need to fill up Pamela Vanderson 2.0 with propane. And I think we're gonna go and do that right now. I think uh, Matt and Allie are gonna start tackling Pamela Vanderson 1.0 and they're gonna start, uh, Allie's gonna decide what needs to go and what needs to stay. And Matt's gonna start doing a little bit of uh, prep work on Pamela 1.0 while Brandon and I run and get propane and a blackout curtain. Sword by sores, we've banned all plastic straws, quit smoking, oh, every paycheck we get. Ten percent is donated to clean our conscience, and it works out great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I finally got Leo to sleep. He's happy, he's sleeping. Matt is working on the backs of the cupboards and uh, taking out the cupboards so that we can repaint them and refinish them. I'm still working on clearing out all the rest of like the pillows and the blankets and the stuff that just needs to come out so that we can access the walls and the bed because we're pretty much repainting everything because after a few years and 17 or 18 countries, this van needs a new coat of paint. <laughs> Most of the drawers are empty. It's really bittersweet, but it needs to happen. Laid under the willow tree The last weekend of summer because we're trying to figure out ways to take things off the walls without destroying everything because we don't remember how they were all adhered to the walls and we don't want to break anything. Um, so Matt's trying to be really careful here. I think maybe it was screws and then yeah. tape on the perimeter. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go and fill up Pamela Vanderson 2.0 with propane, which is really exciting. And it, it actually reminds me of the story. Uh, Allie and I were in like upstate New York and we ran out of propane and it was like winter time and it was really cold. And we're like looking everywhere to try and find a place that could like fill up propane. And we we're like having so much trouble. We end, and it's like Sunday too, so I think a lot of places were closed, but we end up finding like this true value, like hardware store. And they're like, yeah, we fill propane. So this kid comes out. He's like, yeah, I can get it filled up for you. So he starts like connecting everything. And I don't remember exactly what happened. I think that the nozzle wasn't screwed on all the way and he like thought that it was. And like where the split in the fitting was, was aimed right at his face. And like he happened to be wearing like glasses, like seeing glasses and he has like gloves on. And when he flipped that lever, it just like right into his like eyes and face and like basically leveled him. And like, then he like shuts it off and he's like, whoa, like good thing I was wearing my glasses. Like, and it was, <laughs> dude, it was a shocking moment when I was like, do I need to be filling this up? Like, do I even trust this guy to do this? It was super intense so hopefully uh, where we go to get this filled up today will not be quite as adventurous as that because that was terrifying to put it that way always say take it somewhere and ask them to purge it for you we'll but get I guess... you geared up no problem <laughs> that looks good yeah you can look inside if you want yeah i'd like so. to take a look beyond it that's living that's beautiful oh you guys did it right that's for sure yeah thanks it is 
weirdly emotional to be basically deconstructing our van and taking everything out, kind of wiping the slate clean of so many memories and so much time spent in there together. Trent and I, basically, we got engaged in that van. We had so, so, so many memories and experiences of um, traveling through different countries, meeting different people, doing different things all over the world, really, in this van. It's, it's hard to watch all of that kind of just get peeled away. But it's also just a reminder that life is about phases and chapters, and that chapter of our life is ending, sadly, but there are new and exciting chapters that still have yet to be written. We're, we're writing a new one right now with Leo, and I'm really excited for a new van build in our future. So I'm trying not to be, I'm trying not to hold on to that too much because we've grown out of it, and that's a good thing. Um, but I am still just like taking some time to, to be a little bit sad as well. Well, it looks like we're not gonna find what we want at Home Depot and that's okay. I did find uh, the type of curtains that I'm looking for in the color and everything that we need with the proper type of hanger and I found them on Amazon. So uh, it looks like they'll uh, probably be here in a few days or a week or something like that. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to finish that part of the project yet, but we're gonna head back to the van shop and uh, Allie's gonna start probably decorating this van up and get it nice and ready. And I'm gonna start holding the baby. Success? No. What happened? They didn't have the right curtains. But how's the propane? Oh, it's full. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we haven't tested it yet. Hopefully everything's good. I'm sure it will be, but uh, we gotta turn on the tank and then uh, see if we can start the stove and make sure it works. Shouldn't but... we do that outside, not in the shop? Oh no, there's an explosion that's happening in here. <laughs> so now that we've got the propane filled, uh, basically the last thing that we need to do is test to make sure our stove works <laughs> and to uh, make sure that there's no leaks anywhere. Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that simmer wow. ability. That's amazing. I don't even have this in my house. Now that we know for sure that this van is nice and sealed, there's no leaks, everything is done being built. We have to install this blackout curtain, but for the rest of the van, it's done. I'm gonna start staging all the stuff we got today and basically moving in. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to people live in here. It's cute, right? I love it. Come on in. Should we live in here? I want to. Maybe we should just live in here. How adorable is it? It's really cute. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. It's, it looks so good in here. Allie just like, she crushed it with the decorations. I mean, she always does. One thing is going to change though, is there's going to be cushions in here and they're black. And so it's going to add a little bit of contrast, but in here, like, I feel like I'm in Pottery Barn when I'm sitting in here. It's absolutely amazing. I'm really excited about it. 
But anyways, I think that's probably gonna do it for us today at the shop. It is uh, starting to rain, which means at our house, it's probably starting to snow. And our dogs have just been hanging out at home waiting for us all day, so we're gonna call it a day and hit the road. getting crazy over here guys but I wanted to take a second and mention today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network that encrypts all of your incoming and outgoing information if you're using an insecure network to make sure all of your information stays private and people can't access your bank account information, social security numbers, or anything that could compromise your identity online. Surfshark makes it really easy to do that. You can actually put their app on as many devices as you want, your computer, iPad, laptop, tablet, your phone, and it's seamless. It instantly secures your network and gives you peace of mind to know that all of your information is safe and secure. If you don't have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. We've been using them for years and it's honestly the easiest, most secure way to keep yourself safe online. A lot of you guys have signed up using our link. If you wanna share your experiences in the comments below, it would be great to hear how Surfshark has helped your life and helped you stay secure as well. If you haven't tried it out yet, click our link in the description and you'll get three months free and 83% off. A huge, huge savings. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to get back to it. What's up guys and good morning. We're getting a nice early jump on things today. We actually have an appointment to go drop off the Forerunner because the Forerunner is getting some extra little goodies that I'm not gonna be installing, but we're gonna be taking it down to four wheel parts. They're gonna be putting some stuff on it because we're preparing for an excursion next week, or at least I am. I'm actually gonna be taking a solo trip with me and Joel, and we're gonna be going to do some off-roading and some father-son bonding time and just having a blast camping and, and doing boy stuff, so. We're gonna have uh, a lot of fun, but the Forerunner's gotta go into the shop today. It's really early, but we have to drop off the Forerunner. We've gotta do a bunch of things for the business. We're gonna bring you guys along today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're really excited, and I think tonight, I'm even gonna try and go climbing with Joel, so we'll see if I can pack all this into one day, but for now, we're gonna hit the road. It has been a really early morning, um, but we made it and it's a beautiful day. Yeah. We just had a couple of business calls that we had to take and now we are getting dressed and ready to go and have a very fun, exciting day with my parents while they're still here in town. Yeah. So Leo's actually gonna be heading over to my sister, Jilly G. She has the YouTube channel, Jilly G's Gluten Free, and she's gonna be babysitting Leo so that Leslie, Russell, Allie, and I can all get out and play some golf together. I think it was probably like the last video that I was playing golf with Russell, but this is like <laughs> one of our only first. opportunities to get all four of us out. And it's my mom's first time ever playing a round of golf, so we're really excited for the four of us to get out there together. All right, we made it here to my sister, Jilly G's. We are dropping off Leo. We're gonna give her some instruction. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Great, how are you? Are you excited for Auntie Jill's babysitting. I am. He will maybe be a little bit more involved and taken care of this time than last yeah. time. Oh yeah. But uh, he just wants to hang out. Basically, you just have to hold him or like play with him on the ground. Mm -hmm. And He's... if he cries and won't stop, then you just gotta feed him. He's rolling over now. Oh yeah. So uh, he's very mobile and needs to be. <laughs> Are you just look staring at, at me look. right now? Oh, buddy. Like you're gonna leave me here? Oh, He's buddy. upset. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to leave Leo here with Auntie Jill and we're going to hit the road and we'll see you guys in a few.
he used a little pressure, Trent, and then you performed beautifully. Well, I'm not going any further than his. I'm not ahead by any. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah, even though I lost. <laughs> you lost again? Yeah, I like six. <laughs> you played well. It's all about the fun. <laughs> it's all it's about all, the fun. Yeah, he says that when he's playing good. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, we had a blast and uh, now we need to go pick Leo up again and then we've probably got some other festivities in store for the day. My favorite festivity. Picking up his baby. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at you! Hi! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Alright, so my sister made some delicious pear vanilla jam, and then she also made some rhubarb fig marmalade. So you can see here. I'm really excited to try these. I probably have to whip up like a new loaf of sourdough so that I can try these delicious spreads on some bread, but... Thank you very much for watching, Leo. Anytime. Very much appreciated. Anytime. Hey, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go? Ooh. They were just saying that Leo hasn't done like the big eyes the entire time that he's been here. And then I walked in and he's like, <laughs> giant eyes. And so now I'm thinking that there's something wrong with our relationship. Like, <laughs> you can't say it yet, but he's like, uh, I'm mad at you. <laughs> We're gonna hit the road, we'll see you guys in a few. All right, well we gathered Leo and took him over to Russell and Leslie and they're gonna be watching him while we go rock climbing now with Joel and his, uh, his friend. We're gonna be climbing some routes today. We're gonna try and take you guys inside and do a little bit of filming this time. I know last time- It's a day of physical activity. It's a day of fun. girls actually ran out to go grab drinks for us and uh, Joel and I are going to go get warmed up in the bouldering section. We were having the time of our lives when we started. Everything was grooving. But I'm noticing lately we've been half-hearted. West Side Story don't feel pretty anymore. Spent the bulk of our days feeling free Like we were properly stoned Do you like everything but the likes of me? <laughs> Allie's about to crush 10C Go Ali, we all have faith Come on I hang out with sometimes. A girl he hangs out with sometimes. And she's also a professional climber. Yeah, she's crazy. She's better than me. Don't lie. Now say climbing. Last time we said, what do you say, Addy? And she said, thank you. <laughs> Which is polite, but you're supposed to say on belay. And then your belayer says, belay on. And that's how you know you're all ready to climb And together. then you say climbing. And then there you say go. climbing and then climb on. Go, Addy. Yes. So good, you crushed it. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I am exhausted. It's been a really good workout today. We're getting a lot done. Huge shout out to my parents for watching Leo so that we could focus on climbing and have a real, a real workout, a productive workout. Not that we don't love climbing with Leo. Addy, especially, and I can share baby duties, but uh, it is nice to not have to worry about him and know that he's safe and taken care of. 
Everybody has crushed today. Yeah. Everybody has climbed really hard, done really well. I think Joel is on his last climb of the night. We'll see. Maybe Trent has one more left. Trent's gonna climb one more time. What is this? Uh, uh 12. 12A. I already climbed 12B. Confidence level 85. Dude. <laughs> I said, tell me your story. You know, the days may change, but washing the bottles will never change. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're uh, both counting the days down until Leo is no longer eating bottles, but then we're going to be feeding him probably by hand for a while, so. The work never ends, and the love is just always there. So it's hard. It's we uh, we never really get breaks, and so today we were like excited to do to spend some intentional time with our family. Leo was with other family members being watched, and even though it's nice to have a break once in a while, we both missed him so much all day long. It's yeah. still hard to be away from him, even though we're with him all day, every day, and all night long, every night. <clears throat> I think uh, I got my fill of time away from Leo. Yeah. I'm ready it's to have. It's true. Him I was like uh, I was. <clears throat> I, I feel like we had a family day. Like we spent yeah. like the whole day with family, yeah. but like Leo was with Jill and then he was with like Russell and Leslie and like, and I missed Leo. Yeah. And like Leo is, you know, little and even though we're with him all day, every day and all night and like, you know, always constantly taking care of him and like it is good and healthy for us to take like a little break. I like missed him today, yeah. so. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, we've had quite the day. We're both completely pooped, so I think this is where we're going to let you guys go. But if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Remember to take breaks, to take care of yourself, to spend time with family. It's so, so, so important mentally, psychologically, emotionally. We really appreciated our time with family and hope that you guys take some time for yourselves as well. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios!